The Zoll AED3 has two layers of access within the LCD touchscreen. The first layer includes basic configuration capabilities and provides access to general device information. This layer is not password protected. The second layer has more advanced configuration options, which is password protected. In this module, we will discuss the first layer or basic configuration options. To access basic touchscreen configuration options, you will need to place the Zoll AED3 in configuration or non-clinical mode. You can do this by simply holding the on button down for about 7 to 10 seconds. You should hear a click and the Zoll AED3 will display a blue Zoll logo screen. AED will now display two large icons, a blue gear icon and a red heart icon. When this screen appears, you will receive prompts indicating the type of AED you have, such as automatic defibrillator, and it will also indicate unit OK. When selected, the blue gear icon will bring you to the basic configuration screen, and the red heart icon will immediately place the AED in rescue mode and begin rescue prompts. Note that as a safety feature, if you do not select the Blue Gear configuration icon within 30 seconds, the AED3 will automatically go into rescue mode. Note that when the Zoll AED3 is in non-clinical mode, it will display several icons on the lower portion of the screen. The first eye, or information icon, when pressed, will display useful information about the AED, such as serial number, battery power level, pad expiration, and software revision level. The second icon from the left is the battery power indicator. Solid bars on this icon indicate the battery power amount remaining. The actual percent of battery power remaining can be viewed through the eye information icon previously mentioned. You may also see a flashing icon next to the battery power indicator that will tell you that the AED is initializing the USB port. If a USB drive is detected in the USB port, it will stay lit. If no USB drive is detected, the icon will disappear. Additionally, the serial number or device ID of the AED and the local time are also displayed at the center and far right of the screen, respectively. Selecting the blue gear icon will open the basic configuration screen. In this screen, you will see four icons. The first icon allows you to select the language the prompts will be given in. Language options vary by region, and your Zoll AED3 may or may not have multiple languages available. Available languages for your specific device will be shown when you press the language icon button. Simply select the language icon, select the language you wish, and press save. The blue gear option allows you to make basic changes to the prompts, measurement units, date, and time. Simply select the item you wish to change by touching the item on the screen. Choose your preference from the menu and save changes prior to exiting the screen. The green arrow icon allows you to export event data from the Zoll AED3 after a use, the device history, or configuration settings. Simply push the green icon, select the types of files you would like to export, and select either Save to USB or Send via Wi-Fi. If you are saving to a USB, you will need to have a USB drive inserted in your AED. The USB port can be found in the back of your AED3 on the top right under a small rubber port cover. To transmit event data over Wi-Fi will require your AED3 to have been previously configured for Wi-Fi and that you've established a Zoll case review account to transmit the data to. We will cover Wi-Fi configuration and case review later in the advanced portion of this video. You can also export case data to Zoll Code Review by simply uploading case data to a USB drive. Once uploaded, insert the drive into a USB port on a laptop with Code Review loaded on it. Open Code Review, locate the file on your USB drive, and open it in Code Review. Zoll Code Review can be downloaded at no charge. 
When you might need to receive Zoll technical support for a potential device issue, you can export the device history data from a Zoll AED3. This file can be exported to a USB stick and then sent to Zoll technical service, often allowing Zoll to diagnose potential device issues without requiring you to return your Zoll AED3. As a convenience for larger fleets of AEDs, device configuration settings can be exported to USB drive, which can then be inserted into the USB drive of another Zoll AED3 device and uploaded to clone your configuration across all of your Zoll AED3 devices. The Zoll AED3 will export three configuration files, device configuration, Wi-Fi setting for clinical export, and Wi-Fi settings for self-test data export. The last icon on this screen is the locking feature that allows only authorized users to access the advanced configuration features of the AED. Press the yellow lock icon and enter the passcode. The default passcode on a new AED3 is 123456. You can create your own passcode in the advanced configuration setting. We will cover this later in the advanced configuration segment of this video. This concludes the basic touchscreen configuration options segment of this video. For advanced configuration options, continue on to the next segment of this video.